Welcome to 106 Loft TV. This is Vincent. As those that have viewed my channel, and I have some subscribers, you might know that I have often traveled to the Philippines. My first travels into the Philippines started in 2013. The subject of this video is Typhoon Yolanda. I was in Cebu City when Typhoon Yolanda came through the Philippines. What made me think about this event, this typhoon that I experienced, was just about a week ago in my city, the tornado um, alerts went off. The phone alert that a tornado was possibly in the area went off. Anybody that at least is a Midwesterner knows that whole thing, the whole process of on the phones you get the warnings, on any, in any media outlets you get the warnings, and of course the sirens in your area will sound. So these, this whole tornado thing took me back to my my encounter with Typhoon Yolanda when I was in Cebu City. By the way, please subscribe to my channel and make comments. Anyway, um, so I'm in Cebu City. I'm staying at the house of, I have a friend in America, and he has a brother-in-law, their family in Cebu City, or I think it's not Cebu City, but it's the next city over. But anyway, um, so I'm staying at their house when this typhoon came through. I've been involved mildly in a tornado. Tornadoes usually come with darkness, rain, heavy winds, and... In the neighborhood that I grew up in, I was probably in middle school, a tornado touched down, but it touched down on a main street. It hit a business. And so tornadoes um, have a tendency sometimes to touch down and, and go back up and keep going. So, you know, some of them drive through and there's a whole path of destruction behind them, but some just hit quick and seem to bounce and keep going. And so that happened in my neighborhood. I am a Midwesterner. I've grown up in Illinois. I've lived in Wisconsin. So those are tornado areas. Other than that, in terms of like weather-related, severe weather-related deals, it's a tornado and then there are snowstorms. But snowstorms are really heavy snow that it's heavy snow is harmful it can collapse collapse roofs and that sort of thing um but it's it's pretty soft in compare in comparison to a tornado or like a hurricane but anyway back to Cebu city back to typhoon yolanda you could Google Typhoon Yolanda, um, and it has to be in the top three of typhoons that have hit the Philippines. It did a lot of destruction, um, a lot of loss of life, a lot of loss of property. So anyway, I'm at my brother-in-law's house, and or my friend's brother-in-law's house. I decide to go to Ayala Mall, which is a very big mall in Cebu City. I take a taxi there. I get there at about 5, 5.30 p.m. The mall is closed, and they are sending people back home. So, of course, I get back in the taxi. On the way back home, I seen the emergency vehicles, the emergency response to a typhoon coming to the area. The typhoon did not actually happen until the next day the typhoon brought really really heavy winds it didn't really bring darkness 
there was some rain, but the biggest thing about this typhoon was the heavy winds. Cebu City was not in the eye of that typhoon, according to my friend's brother-in-law. But the heavy, heavy winds that blew seemingly for hours were, it was scary. It was really, really scary. Across the street from the brother-in-law's house was a, uh, probably a seven-foot heavy metal fence. And that typhoon, those typhoon winds worked on that fence until it collapsed it, it, it probably took an hour hour and a half to collapse that fence but it did it pulled up trees that were like young trees not you know mature trees or whatever but young trees it pulled up so high winds not heavy rain but some rain some wetness some moisture but just it, it was scary it was pretty scary. It was it was a kind of not so good welcome to the Philippines because, like I said, I've experienced being in the area of a tornado, but in all my years of living in the Midwest, I really never experienced a tornado head on. And, and well, I guess I didn't experience a typhoon head on either, but it was still a surprise to be in a typhoon, and especially in Typhoon Yolanda. Like I said, subscribe to my channels and channel. I'm sorry, and I would really like to hear some comments. That if you've been abroad, not in your city or your, your own country, but if you've been abroad, have you ever ran into extreme weather? This is Vincent at 106 Loft TV.